Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to another G1 Transformer review. Now as you can see I've got all of Terracons here. Um, I shall do a review first of their leader which is Hungar, which is this figure. Again another two headed dragon dinosaur type creature. Um, a little bit more robotic but I think you can basically sort of see the styling they're going for with him. Um, he's got all of these accessories here which I'll go through in turn and I've got the other Terracons there ready but once I've finished his review I shall go straight into showing their combined mode um, first of all I shall bring him up so you can see him in a bit more detail uh, it's, again it's a little bit of a shame they've done sort of like monster heads there but it's a shame that their mouths don't open and close it would have made a little bit more of a fun feature for them um, quite good posability though. You've got, so I suppose, neck posability there, and it can tip to the sides. You can lift the heads up and down a little bit. Um, this will become apparent in his transformation why that is. Um, unfortunately, monster legs are the usual kibbly sort of legs, when they um, just rear ones are at the knee and at the hip but the front ones are just at the top at the hip um, but that's about all for his actual uh, movement he can do um, but quite a nice figure I did actually get this one first and this is a, an original from um, when I was little I have got his box somewhere but I didn't bother getting that out for the review um, he's got quite a nice stipper, uh, stipper, sticker application so I'll put my teeth back in um, but I did like this figure when he came out and it took me a while to track down the other four to complete him um, but yeah I did like him and he's quite a nice figure um, I'll transform him in a second but I'll show you what he comes with first um, first and foremost you get the two obligatory combiner fists left and right handed as they would be and you get the left and right handed feet for the combining mode, um, a chest piece for the combiner mode but it also doubles up as a shield and I'll go into that once it's transforming, um, a bominus which is obviously their combiner mode and you get his head which is quite nicely detailed, you've got the eyes picked out in yellow, it's quite a good combiner head, a little bit like Bruticus and his blaster which is the same for his own mode and the combiner mode but it's quite a good sort of reasonably detailed blaster for the G1 line and there's even a little bit of detail in there I'll just see if I can pick that out for you inside the groove which is quite nice um, as for his transformation I should get on with that um, first and foremost you take the monster net sort of heads and necks, straighten them up and pull them down to there, straighten it right out on both of them, now flip the monster faces forward and that becomes his legs which actually are quite nice sort of legs, so you've got some knee movement, you've got uh, hip movement and you can actually go out to the side as well so a reasonably good G1 sort of leg movement in this figure um, which was unusual at the time with the front monster legs I usually fold them down and they swivel to the back to go into his back and then dealing with the back legs you bring them round bring the lower part round to the front and flip his toe up and then you've got a little catch to get with your nail on the back there to bring his fists round and they clip round to the front like that and just do the other one and a bit stiff to get out of there but uh, quite good again so you've got shoulder movement on a nice ratchet and click and you've got elbow movement as well and then as to the last of his 
sort of part of his transformation. You take the tail, flip it to the back, which reveals his head, which you just need to spin around. You do have to spin it around to, for it to go into the tail. And that's his transformation done. You put obviously his weapon in his fist. And there you go, and that's Hunger. And I think that's a really good G1 figure. Bit kibbly on the back, but not horrendous. Um, certainly not as bad as the other um, Terracons. But the fact he's got far more posability, um, you could get him in a few different poses. But uh, yeah, really nice G1 figure. Again, quite a good face sculpt. A little bit sort of Megatron y sort of shape on his head. But uh, yeah, certainly one of my more favourite G1. Uh, Transformers for actual robot figure and as I said he did come with a shield part which you can take a piece on the back there which is a, like one of the robot heads with the smaller figures and that swings out and then that goes into where they would connect on for their combiner mode if it wants to play ball there you go so you can actually have an arm shield as well um, not a great deal of use to be fair because obviously you can't turn his arm around to it but it does at least use up one of the pieces so it's not all hanging around um, but there you go that's Hunger but I shall now transform them all into their combined mode so what you've got to do is take these bits off flip his fists back in and swing the grey parts back like so and from the hips move the legs out at the side like that, like he's doing the splits which looks quite painful and then turn it down so he's doing like a sumo wrestler sort of squat pose and then the chest piece and the shield fits straight onto the holes on his chest and peg straight in like so and then of course you just fit the head straight onto his robot head and that just sort of fits on snugly so that's his basic body sorted out you then get let's start with ripper snapper you take his robot head flip it forward um, and really basically his transformation from robot mode is basically his arm mode you then just need to plug the fist in the, the hole in the bottom of his feet and then he pegs hopefully without mucking around too much that's it straight in on the side and uh, we then need block to form the other arm and again he's pretty much from his robot mode ready you just need to swing his monster arms back round out of the way flip his robot head back and Obviously, you've got to put his fist in to the bottom of him, and then he's ready to peg in. Now, we'll just that's it, he goes in quite easily, and he can obviously hold the blaster. Now, at the moment, that looks quite silly, that's a little bit deformed. Um, so, you need to get cut through it, and again, all you need to do really to finish his part of the transformation is actually to close him up pop the foot again peg it to the bottom of his legs and then he clips straight into the bottom of the feet in there his robot head these are all of course interchangeable you can do it with any of the combiners that you can interchange the limbs but these are the way they tend to show them um, take Sinner Twin push him shut again from his robot mode put the foot again on the base and the hole on his feet and again push his head into the clips at the bottom of Hunger's foot and there you go you've now got no, I just left the camera up so you can see him a bit better you've now got Abominus which I believe is one of the better in of the transformer combiners in their combined mode 
Um, you have to fiddle around sorting out some of the bits, like say blocks, limbs, and uh, sort of like you know a little bit style it yourself. You can obviously fit some of these sort of weapons on if you can find places to peg them on. Um, trying to think how I did it now. You can still fit, I believe. Now, did his weapon fit in? I'm not sure now. I think I closed up. I tend to close up Ripper Snapper's head and fit his weapon on. So you can have it either way round and still have it as an arm cannon. Um, blocks, gun, I believe. I usually clip it onto his robot hand. Or at least one of them in some way. I can't quite figure it out for the minute because I've disassembled him to do the review. I can't remember which way I do it now. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can still have Cutthroat's weapon either in his hand, down low, down there, or you can fit it round on his back because both holes are still um, accessible. Um, but yeah, that's the G1 Abominus figure. I'll uh, just move him in a little bit so you can see the details. Um, quite nice sticker applications on all of these Terracons. Um, you can, of course, if you pick up one that's a bit rougher, you can get them from retro labels. But uh, it's always nice to get original ones. And sort of if they're in nice condition, which I always try and sort of find if I'm getting any newer ones. A little bit kibbly on the back, but not actually as bad as the individuals are when they're in their own sort of modes because the kibble kind of adds a bit of bulk where you need it on the limbs in this mode. But yeah, there you go, that's a G1 Combiner Abominus. Hope you've enjoyed that review, and I shall see you again for another G1 Transformers review.